life as cute even as a hundred. So if you want to, you know, mashallah, dress your daughter Fatima as Elsa. If you're trying to dress Khadija as, you know, Anna, you want to dress someone as Princess Jasmine because you know she looks out of, you know, maybe she's Muslim, I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to do here. You're trying to dress little, you know, Omar as Aladdin because he looked kind of Muslim to me, he's out of. You're trying to dress him as Simba. I don't know what you're trying to do with your children. That's up to you. I know you see the pressure that they go to nursery, daycare, kindergarten, and their friends are wearing masks. I get it. I get that their friends, their homies, they're going to feel left out because they're not dressed as a creature, a cartoon character. I get it. You're trying to protect them. I get that. But are you protecting them and sacrificing their values? That's a question you got to answer, not me. By protecting them and passing by passing along and sacrificing your son values, is that something you want to do? I'm not going to answer that for you. If you want them to dress up like Moana, that's your choice. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to say, what are you doing? Blah, blah. No, that's your choice. You know what's right from wrong. There's a lot of pressure to make sure that you fit in. There's a lot of pressure that your child is not sent to school and they have a costume party and then all of a sudden you got to tell them this and tell them that we don't celebrate uh, Halloween and the kids laugh at them and they stare at them. I get that. Those are real pressures. But you got to develop a little more confidence because if your child doesn't have confidence, I'm not pointing at you guys. You're good. If your children don't have confidence, usually it's a projection of the lack of confidence and identity of the parents. So if you want your children to have a strong, confident Islamic identity, it starts and stems with the parents. If you're just that concerned, don't send them to school that day. Don't send them to school that day. Jehovah Witnesses, they don't let their children participate in those costume parties. I know for a fact they don't. I'm a school teacher. If a kid does not wear a costume and do something, they say it's part of my religion. And they're a Jehovah Witness. Their answer is, it's a part of my religion. I don't do that. Whether they like it or not, I don't know. But I'm just saying they do that. So if you feel that insecure about your children not being dressed up, I get it. It's a real insecurity. But what message and lesson are you teaching them? I'm not qualified to tell you what's halal or haram. Maybe Sheikh Hakku is, I'm not. But I will tell you this, that the reason you want your children to be dressed up and participate, it's an insecurity, unfortunately, that you want them to fit in. You want to fit in, and I get it. You want to take those cute pictures, you want them to have a little trip. I get that, guys. But you got to ask yourself, are you sacrificing your beliefs and your values for some candy, but candy is delicious. I love Twix, I just wanted to put that out there if you had some. <laughs>